Leah and welcome to Tonal Vitality. Now these days we all try and be a little bit healthier. We limit our portion sizes, count calories, cut out the fat and make sure we don't eat too much sugar. So eating out can prove to be a bit of a problem. It can be very tricky. But what if I told you there was a place where everything on the menu is wheat free, dairy free, sugar free, has not been processed and to top it all off, it has not been heat treated, which means yes, everything on the menu is raw. That means all the vitamins, all the nutrients and all the minerals are intact. Well, that place does exist and it's right here in Bondi Junction in Sydney and it's called Earth to Table. Well, with me now is Julie Mitsios, owner of this gorgeous little raw food cafe here in Bondi. Now, Julie, thank you so much for being on the show. It's so Pleasure. great to be chatting to you. Thank you. Now, I know that during the day, this place is bustling with people, locals, yes. um, plus your regulars, and people come from all over Sydney yes. to come and try your delicious food. They do. It must be such a thrill to have your little, your little baby come to fruition. It is. It's just um, the most amazing feeling. I really get so overwhelmed sometimes by people's gratitude of just us being here. Yeah. Now you started eating raw about 10 years ago. Now mm -hmm. you were a pastry chef at the yes, time. Yes, ironically, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit about how you came about uh, eating more raw food and, and why that happened. Okay, so I always had an interest in healthy living. Um, even being a pastry chef, I didn't even, in the beginning, my first two years, I didn't even want to try anything. I didn't like dairy. I didn't like um, having too much wheat or any of those stuff. So intuitively, I kind of knew that this stuff is not good for me. And doing a little bit more research on, on, on health and, and, you know, having an optimal level of well-being, I discovered that you know, I was questioning myself actually. I was asking myself, why am I doing this? Well, to begin with, I didn't want to be a, sh a chef per se, as that involved a lot of cooking with animals, which I didn't really want to do. And the pastry chef seemed to be a little bit more creative, and that's the really the only options we had here in Australia. Either be a chef or a pastry chef. So I loved knowing exactly what was in my food as I was a, when I was a child. So. Uh, for me to be a pastry chef, it was it meant I could really kind of analyze what goes into everything, and that that had me really curious. So um, I I did my trade, but halfway through I started questioning. I had all these questions as to why I was doing this. In um, towards the end of my trade, actually, which which goes for four years, I came across raw foods initially through my sister who was diagnosed with type one diabetes and. She was looking at ways of um, improving her health and she came across raw foods and introduced it to me and I was just in awe of it. And, and I, I felt like that was the end of my career at that point. It was like I discovered something more amazing and I delved into it and I did a lot of research online. And at that time there was basically only really one book available that we found um, and I think we had to order it, uh, it took forever to come, it was Giuliano's Raw and um, that was pretty much the very first book that was around 10 years ago which isn't that long a time yeah. but um, they just it, it, it just really goes to show how much the industry has grown since then. So I um, was doing all this research and then decided to take the plunge and, and go over to the United States where I could actually learn more in depth about uh, raw foods, train with different institutes, go to different schools and, and gain as much knowledge as I possibly could because there's, there's one thing reading and, um, and absorbing information that way but there's another thing sure. doing it practically and being around the environment where people are, you know, absorbing at a hundred percent so exactly yeah and raw food preparation and cooking or uncooking yes. as we like to say is so different yes it is normal. yeah it takes a little while for people to get their heads around it actually yeah and it can be a little bit daunting but once you get the first couple of you know basic processes and fundamental knowledge in in place it's it's actually easier than cooking yeah definitely. much easier now as you mentioned you are a certified raw living foods chef yes you're also a raw foods caterer yep and you teach classes and workshops on how people can include more raw into their lives yes. and how to make some of the delicious creations that uh, that you make here at the cafe 
you have been around the industry for a long time. It does feel like the raw food world and the health sort of industry is becoming more popular. How have you seen things change in the last, say, 10 years? Wow, 10 years ago, I'd, I'd say to somebody, um, I eat a raw food diet, and they would look at me and say, well, what do you eat? Yep. And it, it just kind of goes to show how, how limited people's knowledge was back then because they just thought it was like carrot sticks and celery and you know, iceberg lettuce. Yeah. But it is so much more than that. And it's really, I think raw food is about thinking outside the box. We have an abundance of um, fruit and vegetables from mother nature that we can use in a creative way and prepare some incredible dishes. Mm. So now we say raw foods and people are like, oh yeah, so you make zucchini pasta and you can make lasagna and you can do so many things yeah. and you use all these superfoods and and people are just in awe about it because it I to me it's the most inspiring cuisine that there is mm. working with fresh produce um, making the most uh, incredible um, dishes that sometimes will replicate cooked dishes so people actually recognize sure. it and to me they taste a hundred times better so a tiramisu um, that was that I used to make with mascarpone and sugar and um, it's my favorite dessert so please tell me how do you make it? <laughs> Sazoriati biscuit. Now that used to be I, I could not eat that it just sure. made me feel ill sure. but I'm he, here we make actually an amazing tiramisu made with the leftover pulp from the almond milk so when we make the almond milk we get so much value out of that because we get the milk and we get the pulp which is like gold and we can use that to make these um, incredible layered desserts and that's part of the that's kind of like the Savoyardi biscuit substitute sure. use some cold pressed coffee um, which makes it alkaline and um, gives it that authentic um, flavor and then we use a, a whole lot of coconut meat in it actually to give it that beautiful creamy consistency that um, people are really familiar with with and it blows people away awesome awesome that sounds good have to try that next time we're here yeah now tell me what was your vision and what's your goal with the earth to table cafe so when when i started thinking about um, my business venture six years ago i always wanted to have an establishment that was um, also an educational establishment but i wanted to create a space that um, people firstly um, felt uh, welcomed and I wanted to create a space that I could replicate as well. So, and I wanted to make it like fast, healthy food because people these days don't have a lot of time to wait around. Yeah. So you've got to make it really accessible and people don't like to wait. So what I have created here is a fast food outlet but it's a healthy fast food outlet yeah. and i want to create pockets of these little spots in, right. in different locations in sydney we've always awesome. we've already got requests for melbourne um hobart um the blue mountains the north side so you've mentioned a few things uh that you have here like the cakes and that so what other things are on the menu what can people expect so we have uh, cold pressed juices which uh, preserve all the natural enzymes and the vitality in the juice. We've got smoothies, we've got superfood chocolate smoothie which is one of our most popular smoothies as well as a beauty berry smoothie which are berries and high in antioxidants so they really, um, you know, they beautify you. Uh, we've got uh, things like Kefo probiotic drinks, we have cold pressed coffee um, drinks, we also have a huge range of different um, cakes um, that are all wheat free, gluten free, sugar free, dairy free. They look incredible. They're all natural and we can get some amazing colors with them. We can get, um, you know, bright greens and bright reds just using the natural produce we have yeah. available. We've also got some amazing pasta dishes, a lasagna, pizza. Uh, our most popular dish, I would say, would have to be a, our chili dish, actually. Right. It's made with about seven different vegetables in a thick, rich tomato-based sauce, and traditionally chili has meat in it. We have replicated that um, using vegetables, and people cannot tell that there is no meat in there. Wow. It's just the texture that we have created using vegetables. It's quite amazing. That sounds fabulous. Okay, so that's probably your most 
popular. Yes, yes, okay. definitely. And the quiche actually is quite popular yeah, too. Yeah, that's we, my favourite. <laughs> we get, uh, we've made a really amazing uh, Mediterranean quiche with the almond buckwheat crust and it's got a really light, fluffy texture and no eggs. Yeah, I mean, I had some friends bring me. We were just, um, just travelling through Sydney, we were here for a couple of months. And so, um, we love this sort of raw food. So we were very excited, I was very excited to find out about it. So I said, Jasmine, you've got to come and check this out. Amazing. Great, yeah. I don't know how they cook this, but it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> they don't cook it. That's well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've only found something like this once before in Thailand. I've been there all the time. Because I just, if I can find a raw vegan place, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. So you think you'll start including more raw food into your diet? <laughs> Guys, you've got to come down and try a bit of everything. I would say this yes. is what we do with, with my friends is we get a few bits and pieces and we all just try and share. Julie makes the best cakes, raw cakes you've ever tried, better than your traditional cakes um, and, and guilt-free, that's yes. what I would say. Yes. Because you don't have to worry that they're full of sugar and full of all the no. dairy and the wheat and exactly. stuff. So definitely worth a trip down here to Bondi Junction to try them and as they say, all of the food is to live for. Seriously, you'll be so full and so content and happy. So thank you so thank much, Julie. It's been Julia. great to be down chatting with you. Thank you. For more info and videos, check out facebook.com slash totalvitalitytv.